Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove the security tab from the properties of a file or folder. And the tab I'm talking about is this will appear, this is just some miscellaneous files I have in a folder here. So this will appear if you right click a file or folder, go to properties. And this is the tab here I'm talking about, the security tab. Now the security tab does a few different things. It displays owner information of a file or folder. Um, it manages different permissions, like it allows users to grant or restrict access to other users or even groups. Um, and um, effective access, really, it shows what permissions a specific user has, like based on their group memberships and whatnot. So some of you may be thinking, well, why in the world would you want to move this? It, it seems important, and, and it is. Um, there are a couple reasons. Um, you might want to prevent unauthorized or accidental changes to a file or folder. Like in a commercial setting, you certainly don't want uh, employees going in there and messing with it and accidentally messing something up. Um, it's a good way, removing this tab is a good way to protect sensitive files and really just to kind of restrict access to different files or folders on shared PD PCs. So like if you've got shared PCs in a small company or something like that, um, you know, you can lock this down and restrict it. So there are a couple of ways to do this, guys. So let's go ahead and close this up. As you can see, that security tab is there for now. So the first way to do this, just click on start or go to your search and we're gonna type GP edit. Now this will bring up the group policy editor. And let's go ahead and enlarge this just a little bit and get this divider over this way. I don't know why it defaults like that. That drives me crazy. <laughs> Okay, so the first way to do this is under the group policy editor, you're gonna, we're gonna go down here to user configuration and then down here to you, or I'm sorry, administrative templates, then down here to Windows components. Then we're gonna go here and look for File Explorer. Now, once you open this up, you're gonna scroll through this list until you see remove security tab. See a couple of removes, <laughs> removing CD burner features, nope. Uh, file menu, hardware tab, uh, to, to remove map, network drive, and right there is what we're looking for, remove security tab. So once you locate that, let's just uh, double click on it. You can right click on it and open it, um, but it's easy, just double click on it, and it will bring this up. Now, by default, it is set to not configured, um, which makes it show up in the, um, in the properties here. So we're going to do enabled. Now it sounds a little weird because you would think, well, enabled means it's going to be there. But no, because we're enabling the policy to remove security tab. So once you have that enabled, go ahead and click apply. Now you will notice if you right click on miscellaneous files again, come down to properties, the security tab is gone. So that is the first way to restrict that. Um, so let's just go ahead and cancel that and just to show you how easy it is to bring it back, you can click that to not configured, hit apply, right click in properties, and the security tab is back. So we know that works through the group policy editor. Let's go to the second way to do this, and that is going to be in your registry editor. So we're gonna click start or go to your search, and we're gonna type regedit, and this is our registry editor. I do recommend that you back up your registry before making any changes. I do have videos on that. So before you do this, I do recommend backing up your registry. I've never had any issues, you know, with that, but it's always a good idea to have backups. So once you have your registry editor open, we're going to go here to H key current user. Then we are going to go down to software. And of course, Microsoft, because that is what we're dealing with here. And then all the way down to Windows here, because that's also what we're dealing with. And then we're going to go to current version. There's a lot to it, guys. Uh, but we'll get there. And then we're going to go down to policies. Uh, there it is. And then we need to go here to Explorer. Now, some of you may not have Explorer here. By default, I know Windows 11 does not place Explorer here. Um, so what you need to do, if that is the case, it's simple. Just right click on policies, do a new key, 
and type in Explorer with a capital E and hit enter and you'll be good to go. So I don't need to do that because I've previously put Explorer in there. So I'm going to delete that, but that's how you guys do that. So over here on the right hand side, um, what you're going to do is you're just going to simply right click. You're going to do a new D word 32 bit value and you are going to name it no security tab. And it has to be exactly like that with the capital N, capital S, and capital T. And it all run together. Otherwise, this will not work. Again, it's all going to be down in the description below, um, including the group policy instructions and the instructions for the registry editor. So once you got that named, go ahead and click off there. Hit enter. Then we'll come in here and double click this. And right now you see this as a value data of zero. We're just going to go ahead and change this to one. Make sure you're staying on hexadecimal here and hit OK. So now that is set in your registry. So let's go ahead and right click here and properties. And as you can see, that security tab is gone again. Now, if you decide that you want that back, simple, just go in here, change this to a value of zero and hit OK. And again, if you right click the file or folder properties, that tab is back for you. So anyway, guys, that is it. A simple way to go ahead and remove that security tab or hide it. I guess it does both in a way. Um, but yeah, that is a simple way to do that. If this was helpful, click that thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks, guys.